it's Lyndon and thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um, I just wanted to make a really quick video. I just was talking to somebody on the phone, it's a new inquiry and about saxophone lessons and the person asked me, do you think I'm too old to start playing the saxophone? Now if you want to make this video really, really short, the answer is no, you're not too old. So thanks for coming and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> if you want a little bit more depth into that and as to why I think that nobody is too old to start playing the saxophone. It's really simply because it depends what you want to get out of the saxophone. What I suggest that you get out of playing the saxophone or any musical instrument is that you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, that's job done. If you get some satisfaction out of learning uh, and, and playing an instrument. Personally, as you might have gathered, I'm extremely passionate about saxophones and just to hold a saxophone, just to play a couple of notes is a joy. It feels like a privilege to me, in all honesty. It just feels wonderful. And I think that everybody could share that to some extent or another. And if you are in your 70s or, or older and you are starting an instrument, the chances of you becoming the world's greatest saxophone player are definitely slimmer than somebody who started at the age of six or seven, clearly because they've got a lot more time to develop. But the chances of you enjoying the process of learning and having some fun and mixing with other people who are on the same journey are really high. So there's lots to be said for, for starting a musical instrument at any age and obviously the saxophone is the one to pick. Um, there are a few more points that I would think and, and tell people about when they say, you know, I should have taken this up when I was a kid. There's definitely some lots of advantages of taking a musical instrument up when you're younger, but in my opinion, there's also a few disadvantages as well, or to put it another way, there's a few advantages to taking it up when you're an adult. Um, personally, I started playing the saxophone when I was 26, and I'm 28 now, so that's 27. No, I'm not, I'm 58, I can't believe it. Next birthday. Um, so I've been playing a long time. So I, I didn't start playing until I was 26. And I think one of the advantages of taking up an instrument when you're an adult, as against when you're a kid, is that adults are really determined. If they decide to take on the saxophone, I think they, they have a, a different level of determination and devotion and commitment to that of a kid. So, so kids pick things up really easily, but they also get very distracted very easily. And they're being bombarded with lots of different subjects on a regular basis. So trying to pick one that they really feel very comfortable with it is a process. And by the time people have got to be an adult, if they decide they're gonna do something, they're pretty determined that they're gonna do it. Whether it, And they also know that it's not going, always gonna be easy and it's not always gonna be straightforward. So being an adult learner, I think there's a, there's a lot of very positive things about that. Adults also recognise that in order to um, get growth in a particular subject, you need to devote some time and practice. Whereas kids can often be very reluctant to to commit to the idea of practice because it feels like drudgery or a chore or they'd rather be out playing or something. Also, often with kids, it's actually the motivation is coming, can come from a different place. So it can come from parents or school that you must do something and they don't really want to. Whereas an adult, if they take up the saxophone, then this is a choice that they make. They know that they're gonna to have to work at it. They know that it's not always gonna be straightforward and they know that they need to make time in their their lives to dedicate to this particular pursuit. Also, they recognize all of the health benefits of doing something like this, having a hobby or an interest. They know how important that is to have in your life, and it really, really is. Now, clearly, I'm not a psychologist and I'm not a, a neurosurgeon, but I kind of know instinctively that it doesn't matter how old you are, if you start studying something, if you start working on something, that's got to be good for your brain. And I, I've kind of come across in my life, haven't studied it deeply, I'm not trying to say that I have, but I've definitely come across reports where people in their 70s and 80s and older have started 
taking on new hobbies or learning new things and their cognitive abilities have been massively positively affected by that exercise, by that experience. So it's really good, it's been proven to be good for you to experiment with new hobbies and new interests. The brain responds that no matter what age you are, the human brain is always the same, it always responds well to new information and new learning. It's absolutely good for you, it's just so good for you. Plus, there's all of the kind of social side of playing a saxophone. Uh, I, I don't want to make this about me, but my life has been so affected by all the wonderful people that I've met through music. It's just fantastic. And that effect is through the board with all of the clients that I have, the private clients. Their lives have been massively positively affected by all the people that they've come into contact, not least of all me, but uh, all the people that they've come into contact with because of playing the saxophone. So it opens new doors and the opportunity, opportunity for new experiences. Experiences. I can't see what the downside is. I just can't. So are you too old to start playing the saxophone? No, never. You're never too old. Just pick it up. Have some fun with it. Enjoy it. Job done. If you're enjoying playing it, it doesn't matter what level that you reach. You might not reach the dizzy heights of professional players, but it doesn't matter. Just enjoy playing the instrument. It's good for you. I can't see what the downside. And if you are a younger person, you should pick it up and play as well. That's my opinion. So that's my take on are you too old to play the saxophone? A very long winded way of saying no, you're not. And if there's other things that you would like to do out there, you should definitely go out there and give it a shot as well. Uh, I hope this, uh, my take on things has been interesting to listen to me ramble on and rant on about my passion for this wonderful instrument. Thank you so much. Thank you to the people that have supported me with your positive comments and your positive feedback and your buying of coffees. I'm well on the way to being able to upgrade my computer, which is huge. Anyway, um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.